everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. As you saw in the intro, we will be building a snow cabin in this tutorial in a snow tiger. And these are the blocks we will be needing for the first step. Some stripped dark oak logs, dark oak planks, dark oak stairs, some spruce planks, spruce logs, stripped spruce logs, spruce stairs, spruce trapdoor, some stone buttons, spruce doors, and some colored glass panes. This is the outline. You will be needing a 15 by 9 area. And now, when you got the area to build in, let's start with the spruce logs. So, make a pillar 6 blocks tall. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Just like this. And then count three blocks to the left, one, two, three, six blocks up again, do the same thing, three blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, just like this. You can go behind this pillar, count three blocks, one, two, three, six pillars up, another three blocks, six pillars up, space, six blocks up, space, six blocks up, space, six blocks up up space six blocks up and space six blocks up and the three first pillars you can remove one two three and four blocks from them because this will be the balcony area and now when you finish this you can add one more pillar between these two six blocks tall and now at the bottom you want to add cross beams from every single pillar to a new one and keep the front area open for the balcony and now we're gonna do the same thing at the top add cross beams between every single spruce log pillar we did just like this and now what you can do you can remove this one and then you can add dark oak stairs on this side on the other side and then fill in fill in the balcony like this add upside down dark oak stairs between the spruce log pillars with it for the balcony just like this now when you finish this you can get the stripped dark oak logs and do a floor inside the snow cabin. And this design is very simple. You put a stripped dark oak log like this, on a side, like this, on a side, like this, on a side, like this. And you want to continue that design until you hit the end just like this. This one you can replace with dark oak planks. Now when you finish this, you can get the spruce planks and fill in this wall at the upside down spruce there for the doorway. And then we can do the same thing with the windows. Fill in the gap with spruce planks. Destroy two blocks for the windows. Do the same thing on every single gap we have in the walls. Fill in the space with spruce planks and destroy the blocks for the windows. This one we can fill in because this will be the chimney. And now when you have finished this you can add some you can add some stripped spruce logs into the walls to give it a little cute design this maybe This and add one. 
And now what we can do, we can get the spruce logs. And then at the bottom of, or on the pillars with it, you can do something like this. You can add sticking out logs on every single pillar with it. From the bottom, give the gap, a block, a gap, a block. So it looks like this. So there's a block at the bottom, a gap, a block, a gap, a block, and then a gap. And you want to do the f this design on every pillar with it. Even on these small ones, you can add sticking out spruce logs and on this one as well. Just like this. Or you can even choose if you want to have one here. Maybe like one here. I'm gonna have something like this. And now, when you finish this, you can add dark oak stairs in between the popping out pillars with it. So, at the bottom one, normal stair. At the top one, upside down. Normal, upside down. Normal, upside down. Normal, upside down. Upside down. Normal, upside down. Normal, upside down. Normal, upside down. And then for this one, normal and upside down. Just like this. Or you can even, if you chose this design, you can add normal upside down just like this. And then you can also add one cross beam at the top like this. And now, when we have finished this, we can get to the windows, the doors, and some outside decoration. And these are the blocks you will be needing for the second step of the snow cabin. Spruce doors, spruce trapdoors, stone buttons, stone brick walls, spruce fences, spruce fence gates, and any colored glass panes. So now when you got all the materials, first thing, what you can do, you can add the door into the doorway from the inside. Fill in the window holes with some glass panes any colored glass panes you want your choice and then for the balcony you want to add a stone brick wall on top of these pillars then you want to do a fence design a spruce fence spruce fence gate in the middle and another spruce fence do the same thing spruce fence spruce fence gate spruce fence spruce fence spruce fence gate spruce fence just like this and now you can add one spruce fence on top of this. That's my phone, okay. And then for every single popping out pillar, you can add stone buttons onto them. To make it look like nails. This. Finish this one up. Now, when you finish all of this, you can add spruce trapdoors on the right or left side to the windows to add a little, to add a little trapdoor design. Do it for every single window. Back and this one. And if you want to, you can add one more pillar here. Just like this. But then you would have a two, two step, not a triple, but a double step. But it's fine too. It is fine too, just like this. Now, you can get some campfires, lanterns, spruce trapdoors, and any shovel. So, when you... I will not have this here. I will keep it 
like this. Now, you can choose. You can have it or you don't have to have it. So, for a balcony roof, you want to add... That's a cat. Okay. You want to add campfires. Just like this. It might be laggy, but don't worry. If you right click on campfires with any type of shovel, you can take the campfire down so it's not burning anymore. And also, you can add some lightning onto the balcony just like this. Now you have a balcony, cute little balcony. And you can also delete the last campfires and replace them with some spruce trapdoors. Now you can add dark oak stairs onto these popping out pillars. When you did that, you can get rid of the materials and get some new materials for the roof. But first, Subscribe to this channel to support me and to see more awesome content like this. And like the video. I would be very appreciated. Now, these are the blocks you will be needing for the roof. And these are the blocks you will be needing for the step number three. The roof for the snow cabin. Some spruce logs. Ripped spruce logs. Spruce planks. Dark oak planks. Dark oak stairs. Dark oak slabs. Dark oak trapdoors. Some snow blocks. And any hollowed glass panes again. Now when you pause the video and got the materials, let's start with the left side. So, you want to make a basic roof design. So, you want to put dark oak stairs on top layer and make one stair pop out. You want to do the same thing on the other side. Add the dark oak stairs, one block or one stair popping out. Now, you can do that design, roof design with me. So, you add the upside down stair, normal stair, upside down stair, normal, upside down, normal, upside down, normal, do the same thing on the other side, upside down stair, normal stair, upside down, normal, upside down, normal, upside down, normal. Now in the middle, you want to add a upside down stair like this, and add a slab at the top. Now you want to do the same thing on the other side. Upside down, normal, 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 upside down stair, facing away from those, and a slab at top. Now you can fill in this middle part with some dark oak planks. And now what you can do, you can place the snow blocks as a roof, just like this. It's basically fill in the empty gap in the roof with snow blocks. This now the top layer. And now there's a gap in the roof. It's easy to fix. You continue this spruce log pillar up, do the same thing on the other side, continue it, and then just make normal spruce, normal spruce walls. Do the same thing on the other side, like this. Now, you can go outside. You can add dark oak slab at the first stair, nothing here, slab, dark oak trapdoor, slab, nothing, slab, trapdoor, slab, nothing, and a slab. Now do the same thing on the other side. So slab, nothing, slab, trapdoor, slab, nothing, slab, trapdoor, slab, nothing, and a slab. And now, for this part, you can also add slab, 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 stair, slab, 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 
And that slaps at those three. Just like this. Just like this. Uh, hmm. Just like this. Yes, just like this. I'll do the same thing on the other side. So, slap, 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 slap. And then nothing here because we have the pillar here. Now, you can also add a little window here. You want to add the window. So it have to be one block inside. Just like this. Fill in these three with some snow blocks. And then make the roof with snow blocks of course. And you can also add the stairs. Just like this. Maybe we can even add it one more block closer. So like this. Slab. Then add the stairs here. And add some design. The window. It's like this. Now, when we have finished the roof, we can work on the chimney. And these are the blocks you will be needing for the part number 4 or 5. I don't remember. I think it's 5. The chimney. You will be needing some stone blocks, cobblestone blocks, some polished anthracite, some stone brick walls, some iron bars, campfires and spruce fence. Spruce trapdoors. So now when you got the materials, go to this side with no window or the wall, destroy these blocks, destroy this wall, just like this, and then let's start with the inside. Replace these three blocks with polished andesite, these three blocks with a mixture of cobblestone and stone, add the campfire in. Add the add the iron bars and continue the cobblestone and stone mixture we did upwards and then continue it down here. Just like this. Now when we finish the inside you can go outside and then work on the chimney from the outside. You can add the mixture of stone and cobblestone and add one more layer of it right here and then continue this part. then continue this part just like this now when you finish this chimney design it should look like this from the side this from the other side and it should look like this from the inside. Now when we have finished the chimney structure, it's time to add the actual chimney mechanics at the top. So, put a campfire at the top, surround the campfire with some spruce trapdoors and add a storm brick wall above the campfire. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have finished the chimney and we have finished the build and if you want me to do the interior for this awesome snow cabin 
make the snow cabin cozy and warm inside. Let's get, let's get this video to five likes. We can reach this video to five likes. I do a tutorial for the interior of this cozy snow cabin. But now, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, subscribe to support me and see more awesome content like this. Let me close the door. There you go. Like the video to show me some support. And let's get this video to 5 likes. And then I do a tutorial for the interior. Thank you so much for watching. And I see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.